So in this second challenge, what we're going to do is get rid of the powered by header that happens when we're making a request to an express app. And I'll show you what this is. So if I just copy this live app link to start off with, and I just submit it, and free code camp will then make a request to our express app and then the express app will return a response, which is how they do the testing. So if we run this and in the developer tools network tab, um, we can see that this app info right here, if you look at the URL, it goes to my app. And if I just click on that and then look at the headers, in the response header, we have this header called X powered by, and that says express right here. So Express basically will add in this header when it's returned, when it sends a response back out to the client. And this is useful if you want to know um, what platform is powering the app, but it can also be very dangerous because um, the fact that anyone sending a request to this app can know that it's powered by Express and then they can find potential exploits um, to do with Express apps that you can probably see on like GitHub issues or something. And they can try and use that exploits to hack your app. So you want to make sure that we get rid of this X powered by field right here. And that's why we'll use a middleware from Helmet called Hide Powered By. And um, an a very, very important thing that you have to do to make this challenge pass is because they've, they've changed the um, methods again. So you want to make sure we need to downgrade our um, version of Helmet because right now it's 3.2, 3.3. But we need to downgrade it to 2.3.0 if we want to get this test to pass. So what you want to do is in the terminal, which is in glitch and it's in tools and then terminal right here, you want to first uninstall the current version of Helmet by running an un npm uninstall helmet like this and that will remove helmet that's currently installed and it's best to uninstall it always before you change the versions then you want to run npm install and you want to do helmet but you want to put at 2.3.0 so we're downgrading from 3.2 3.3 to 2.3.0. So this will go ahead and fetch the version 2.3.0 for Helmet, which we need for this test. Again, it's to do with the way the tests are written. Finally, run the refresh command, and this will apply the changes from our terminal to inside our app. And if we take a look now at um, package.json, we can see that um, Helmet version is now 2.3.0, which is perfect. So what we want to do is we want to mount this helmets hide powered by um, function, which is a middleware for all routes. And remember in Express app to mount something for all routes, you'd say app.use like this. And inside it, we can call the helmets hide powered by method. So it will be helmet.hide powered by like this. And um, you don't have to give any arguments here, but, uh, but um, optionally, what you can also do is just give an object inside this. And you can say set to like this. And this will basically spoof it by setting this to something like PHP 4.2.0 rather than Express. And this can be useful to throw people off um, if they're trying to find out how to exploit your app. So they'll think it's a PHP app. Um, again, I don't think most people will buy this, but you can try that as well. So if we save that, and one thing I recommend is running refresh again, just to make sure that um, every, the app just gets restarted after you apply this. and you'll notice that there might be some issues when we try doing this. So it's also a good idea to give the um, free code camp page a hard reload as well before we try it. Because sometimes it caches um, certain versions and you wanna make sure that doesn't happen. Then if you go ahead and click submit right here, you'll see that it fails and it'll stay failing for a while. So what you wanna do is just go away and just do something else and then come back in maybe about um, 20 minutes or half an hour and then try it again and it should work. Um, all the logic here right here is correct so we just want to wait around for a bit until it free code camp servers remove their cached version which is using the old um, request because um, if we look in app info right now um, we can see that powered by Express is still there. So it'll take a while for um, Glitch to actually update um, our changes that we made here. So just, yeah, come back in a little bit. So actually it only took me like a minute for it to work. Um, when I was practicing earlier, it actually took me a long time. But if you submit it after a while and then click I've completed, um, what you'll see is that the tests actually pass. Um, if we look at app info now, uh, we can see that the X powered by right now has been changed to PHP. So anyone will think that they're working with a PHP app here. So yeah, that's how you um, remove or change the um, X powered by header using uh, Express, uh, using Helmet's hide powered by method. So you can go ahead and submit that and move on to the next challenge.